is left subnet so we would be creating subnet it's up to us how many subnets we want to create but again that subnet should not cross the 10.0.0.0/16's range so i would just be creating two subnets subnet 1 the new vpc association here and then i'll just be writing 10.0.1.0/24 24 is lesser than 16 we need to ensure that's how the mathematics needs to be done and we'll create another subnet select the new VPC and this would be 10.0.2.0 24 and then just create it and close it out perfect so we have got two subnets but these subnet information has yet not been given to the route tables so we need to complete the subnet association so here we go here's the subnet association edit subnets and select both the subnets and save it so one more interesting thing is left route table is created internet gateway is created and a cl is created subnet is created and all the components have been well architected and associated with vpc but we would yet not be able to connect to the vpc why because the internet gateway is yet not connected with route table the routing information is yet private we need to make it public so we are going to edit the routes and add the public connection And we'll have to define the internet gateway okay so save the routes and close it our VPC is has been successfully created and here we go here's my VPC now we'll be creating a service on top of this VPC so let's create EC2 instance again Let's quickly launch the instance. Configure instance details and here the network default VPC needs to be changed to the new VPC and auto send public has to be enabled. And then add storage, add tags, provide the name. And then security groups ensure it's public anywhere and then review launch launch and that's it and if we are able to launch the instance the VPC architecture is correct if we are able to connect to the service through our internet that means the internet gateway and the connectivity with the public network is perfect So we'll test it using putty. Here's our public IP address. Copy this, paste it, push the PPK file. And we are able to see the connection successful over here. Here we go. We are able to connect our EC2 instance as has been successfully created on the new VPC and we are successfully able to work on it. So that's the VPC virtual private cloud services or virtual data center created on our AWS. How do we delete the services? So click on VPC again. come to your VPCs click on my VPC click on actions delete VPC if you click on delete VPC it will please everything so we cannot delete before deleting the EC2 instance so we have to go back and delete EC2 instances first because that's quite a critical thing that we are going to do we work so let's delete 